Where did the initial idea for the game come from and how was the license uh, adopted and how did that all get to uh, start? Well, okay, so Microprose um, slash Spectrum Holobyte, Spectrum Holobyte bought Microprose. They had Star Trek license. They had done previous games um, and they had sort of a, a Star Trek Next Generation license to make games. They did a Final Unity, which I think well worked on. And oh, wow. uh, it was Generation. And those were uh, Star Trek Generations, which is another game that uh, Microprose had done before. So they actually had a number of Star, uh, Star Trek games that they could make. And the thing about it is, if you really think about it, Microprose is also known for Civilization and Master of Orion and you know Colonization and a lot of strategy games, right? So it's a natural thing to just move Star Trek into that genre. And if you really think about it also... It makes sense for Star Trek because you're dealing with, you know, especially like I said at that time, you're you're dealing with like the you know the entire Federation and the Klingons and the Cardassians. You have natural enemies to to make a Star Trek game out of, right? So that's pretty much where it came from. Um, you have a license, and the company itself has a long heritage of making um, strategy games. And particularly, if you look at Civilization as, a, as an example of a a game that was very profitable for. Microprose and a game that's well acclaimed too. So, I remember there was that feeling in the hallways that Civilization and Star Trek were kind of like, like you could like sort of like mash them together. Um, I think that's that's one way, maybe that you can look at um, Birth of the Federation. Yeah. Um, I also I also wanted to point out that um, that when when Bill and I were working at this company, it was actually Spectrum Holobyte. Oh. And um, and then in 1993, Spectrum Holobyte purchased Microprose, and then uh, and then we we switched to using the Microprose name. So we Spectrum Holobyte has more of a history uh, with uh, flight flight simulations. That's really and um, like the big way the the way that they they made their name was with um, flight simulations and Tetris on a uh, uh, for a computer for DOS, right? Um, yeah. Sorry, this is so long ago. Uh, but then it was when when Spectrum Holobyte bought Microprose. Um, then then you're now bringing in Spectrum Holobyte Star Trek: The Next Generation license with Microprose, which has that, that long history of, of making um, strategy games. So the idea of having a turn-based strategy game with a Star Trek license was, that became Birth of the Federation. Yeah, and also Microprose published uh, and developed with Simtex, which was part of Microprose, mm. Master of Orion. And you can see a lot of Master of Orion heritage inside of Star Trek, Birth of the Federation, right? Yeah, definitely. 